Today on Riffs, Beards, and Gear, we check out the all-new V4 Kraken guitar amplifier from Victory. Victory amps, based out of the UK, have made some of the best lunchbox British flavor guitar amplifiers out there, and they're pretty renowned for the really, really good tone. I personally enjoy the Victory stuff just as much as anyone else, having first heard them at NAMM like five years ago. Well, the new V4 Kraken is their smallest amplifier to date. Now, before we go any further, this is a sponsored video as Victory Amplification have asked me to show you the new new. However, all thoughts and opinions are mine. Now, this V4 Kraken, despite its appearances, is not just a two channel preamp that you need to find a power amp for. This is a guitar amp. You can plug this straight into a cabinet, or if you don't wanna use a cabinet, you can use the direct out and utilize the two notes uh, engineering cab simulated out with one of these six different selectable presets made by Rabia Massad. But again, this is a 180 watt amplifier in this housing. Pretty nuts. Now the V4 Kraken is foot switchable. There is a clean and dirty channel. There is also onboard digital reverb, which is very, very nice. It's a, I believe it's a plate reverb. It's just, it's a very lovely reverb. I enjoy it. It's very usable throughout its range. Also uh, dual master volumes, and you can switch the reverb with a separate uh, foot switch if you'd like. Now, in addition to the XL Art Cab Sim output, there is also a balanced quarter inch line out, as well as a series effects loop, and a very, very cool feature, there is a nine volt out tap to power a pedal, if you so choose to use a pedal along with this noise gate, tube screamer, something like that. So right now, let's go ahead and hear the V4 Kraken in the context of a mix. I am actually also going to break out my Maxon OD9 Tube Screamer to see how this can take a boost. I will be plugging in the V4 Kraken straight into my Mesa Boogie Vertical 212. And yeah, let's hear this thing in a mix. Now that we got the mix out of the way, let's go ahead and do a little bit of a casual playthrough with the V4 Kraken. This time I will be using a uh, stock Les Paul Custom with uh, its stock Gibson, uh, I think it's a 498T in the treble and a 490 in the neck. And uh, yeah, I will be not, I will not be using a boost and I will still stick with the Mesa Boogie Vertical 212 cabinet. And uh, yeah, let's do a little bit of a playthrough. <laughs> Thank you. 
So what do I think? Let's wrap this up. Uh, this is going to retail for about a thousand dollars. Now, this is a very, very feature rich amplifier, even if it was in a traditional head shell. But the fact that this is basically in a pedal board format, you could pop this into a backpack. It's not crazy heavy and it is incredibly loud. You could easily have a 212 cabinet, something like that, and jam with the band all day long. This thing is unbelievably loud. Class D amplifier, it sounds really nice, really warm. It feels good. I really, really enjoyed my time with the V4 Kraken. And uh, yeah, it's just a really, really impressive the amount of features that are coming out in these things and how small they are getting. The two note stuff sounds great. We all know that the reverb sounds great. Foot switchable, master volumes, love that. So if you are in the market for something very loud and very compact, definitely give a look to the V4 Kraken. All the pickable links down below in the description. You've been wonderful, I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. If you like the video you just watched, please consider subscribing. And if you wanna further support me and what I do, consider using some of the affiliate links down below in the description of this video. Go on over to Sweetwater, buy yourself something and help me out at the same time. It's a win-win for both of us.